I have been waiting for this day for a long time. Now, you guys know me. I'm Barbasol Boy. And you also know that a long time ago, I got some of their vintage brushless shaving cream from the 1950s. Here it is. Here's the box. It's this huge, huge... Hey, that's, that's not right. Oh, here it is. Here it is. It's this giant tube of sanitary beard softener, Barbasol, no brush, no lather, no rub in for modern shaving. Now, from what I can tell, this is from the 1950s, so you don't need a brush with this. So I used this a while back, and I haven't used it since, and it's still full. It's gonna last me. This is gonna last me, folks. Um, oh, it also relieves sunburn and windburn. I got a little bit of sunburn on my shoulder. I might use it on there. But anyway, then, more recently, I got this. A cardboard box. No, it's this is the shipping box that this came in. It's a Barbasol, the Barbasol razor, as you can tell. Made in the USA, on the side it says Barbasol razor chromium. And then that's all it has, nothing else. And inside there would have been like a little leatherette case, but it just came with the actual... Now I think this is actually, this box, this shipping container is more rare than uh, either the razor or the case that it would have been inside of it. But anyway, I've got... The what I from what I can tell, 1930s Barbasol razor, and it says Barbasol right along this little strip right here. I don't even think you could see it if I showed it to you. But this is there's a little bit of a tarnish. You can kind of see the brass underneath, but otherwise it's in beautiful shape. And I believe this is the floating head version. They have people talk about the floating head Barbasol razor, and I think this is what it is. It's good. Let me show you the the size. Comparison. Here's the Rockwell, and here's the old Barbasol, and they're almost exactly the same height. So there you go. There's just an idea of of the uh, the, the measurements of this thing. And I I, I said when I was going to do this vintage Barbasol shave, I was like, I I've got this, I've got this, but I gotta get I gotta get razor blades. I gotta get vintage Barbasol razor blades. So I found these. It's a little. It's a. It was a whole little case of these little travel like dispensers and they are full of Barbasol razor blades. Now let me show you how it works. I had to soak this. Thanks for the uh, um, for the for the tip because uh, when I first got these I couldn't make the thing work. I couldn't make the little razor blade pop out and so I soaked it in some some uh, rubbing alcohol for a couple of days and it loosened up whatever gunk was in there like the oil they would have used probably to keep it from uh, tarnishing and now hopefully it works like this. You just push this little thing. Of course, I say that. Ah. Oh, dang it. Wait, wait. Oh, hold on. There we go. See that? I just... Had to... So you push that little thing and the blade comes out. And there it is. Then you could just, uh, you know, slide it on without having to touch the blade. And let me show you. It says Barbasol on there. And let's see. It says, Barbasol for modern shaving made in the USA. Uh, a better blade, rust resisting, the Barbasol Company, Indianapolis, USA. Now, I actually tried to shave with one of these a while back, but you can't, you can't tell in this video, but there is some kind of corrosion on the edges of each blade. And I looked at a bunch of them. I got a couple more over here. And so these are all the Barbasol blades, but unfortunately, I can't shave with them. They just, they, it was rust resisting, but it wasn't rust proof. There's just a little bit of corrosion and rust on the edges. And I actually got a strop out and I put this in the razor and I stropped it trying to get it off, but it still didn't work. So I can't use this, but that's okay. I can still use these. That's right. And then the aftershave, unfortunately, I don't have any vintage Barbasol aftershave, but I've got some modern. So I took a shower. I did my hair. I'm gonna put some hot water on my face and I'm gonna use some of this brushless for modern shaving, Barbasol. All right, I'll put some water up here. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, this is a, uh, let's see, is it three piece? I'm trying to remember. Oh no, it's the kind where you screw off the bottom. It's been a while since I used it. So I think it's a two piece. So you, oh, there's a blade in there already. Did I forget? Okay, good, goodness. Oh, there's a feather blade in there. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a feather blade. So it is a two-piece razor. I love that design where you just put the top back on and then screw it back down. 
So I'm going to take out that old blade and I'm going to put in a new one. And what I'm going to do is put it down on the head first like that so that it gets on there right. And then I'll put the razor on top and then I'll start to screw it down just a little bit so that it engages. There we go. And then as I screw the rest down, I tighten it up and make sure the blade is even on both sides. It is, and then I'll just tighten it, tighten it up. This is a beautifully designed razor. Like I said, I think from what I can tell, the 1930s and uh, Barbasol, if you're listening, and I think you are, make, make some more of these. You saw what Gillette's doing with their heritage razor and all that? If you start selling this design again, look at that. This, I'll put this up against any modern razor. So let's shave with it. All right. More hot water because I was jabbing there. All right. Now, this is brushless. You don't, it doesn't make a lather. So, but you just smear it on and shave. Now, what I learned was I need to shake it up first. This stuff is from the 1950s. Once again, no dates. Come on, Barbasol. Put some dates on your old vintage products, will you? Oh, I guess it's too late for that. So what I'm going to do is squeeze it from the end. And look at that. Looks like it was made yesterday. Look at this stuff. Now, the smell of this is not like modern Barbasol brushless shaving cream, which they still sell. This smells very medicinal. It's a strange medicinal smell that I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the exact scent is, but it reminds me of like something that is old fashioned. From the good old days before everybody got really perfumery, you know? I need to put some more. I still got a bunch, so I'm gonna use as much as I need. There's some more. This stuff was in, I bought it on eBay a few years ago, and I was so happy that it was actually in decent shape, that it wasn't, you know, hadn't turned and curdled and turned weird. Strange smell, strange medicinal smell. Doesn't smell like modern Barbasol at all. I don't wanna waste it. Try to pour on as much as I can. Anyway, so that's all you do. It doesn't make a lather. It just makes a slick coating to shave with. So let's do it. Let's shave. Feather blade in there. Unfortunately, couldn't use the vintage Barbasol blade. Floating head, 1930s, with some 1950s Barbasol brushless. I've been putting this off, putting this off till the right time, till I was in the right mood to do it. And today I'm in the right mood. This razor feels so well built, so well designed. It's got a long enough handle and it's heavy enough and solid enough to feel really good. It gives a great shave. I've shaved with it a few times. And I don't think this model comes up very often at auction. I found it on eBay. I got it for a reasonable price. It was like $60 or something like that, which, you know, in the vintage uh, razor market is, is remarkable. But they do have another uh, version with a Bakelite plastic handle, like a black handle. But I didn't really want that one. I didn't like the look of that one. I wanted this one because it looks like, I mean, obviously, it's built to last. It's lasted since the 1930s. It's almost 90 years old. I love it. The razor's 90. The shaving cream, 70. And I'm almost 50. Now, the razor blades, look how cute this thing is. I wish this thing, were, you know, I wish they worked. They've got a little thing when you're done, you put the used blade in here. Great, cute little design. And I got a whole display uh, box of them. With the little box, the little cardboard box that came in. But unfortunately, it didn't look like it had been, uh, you know, it looked like it had been stored well. The box is in great shape, but I guess somehow something got to it and it just corroded. I found that with a lot of vintage razor blades. You can't really shave with them. After the first pass, it still feels slick. It's got that medicine-y goodness. <laughs> All right, let's put some more. I feel like I'm using so much of this, but what else am I gonna do? Not use it? No way, I'm gonna use it. That's what it was made for, right? Smoosh it around, it's kind of a weird feel. It's like a slick, it doesn't feel, it feels like a lotion, but a more slick lotion, you know, like a body lotion. 
but with that medicinal, oldie-fashioned scent. But it is very slick brushless shaving cream. Like I said, Barbasol still makes a, they make a modern brushless shaving cream. In fact, let me show you the two. I got it down here. I think I got it. Where are you? Where are you? Here it is. So this is the modern version. And this is the, look how they, they flipped it. So they got the, <laughs> like that, upside down. Anyway, so that's what the modern looks like. All right, second pass, cross the green. I did uh, some research. I went on to badgerandblade.com and there was a whole long multi-page thread about these Barbasol razors. So I wanted to learn as much as I could. And everyone was talking about how great the floating head was. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the floating head one. I guess they have one that looks similar to this that isn't. Now, I'm not exactly sure why they call it floating head. It has something to do with the way it sits on there. I'm not sure. So if you do know, please let me know down in the comments below. But it's definitely a good razor. Oh, you know what I, I was... I was looking on Etsy. I'd never really looked on Etsy for uh, vintage shaving items. And I was looking on Etsy today and they have, you know, if you're a World War II reenactor and you want to have, you know, your full, you got your full costume, you got your, you know, M1 carbine or whatever, you got all your gear, your helmet. But then if you want to camp out and you want to have a period correct shaving kit, there's a, uh, a seller on Etsy that sells uh, fillable tubes that look like this. It's got like a paper label. This is like, you know, uh, uh, lithographed on here. But they have a metal tube that is open on this end that you can fill with whatever, you know, shaving cream or lotion or whatever you want to be, uh, to take with you for your reenactments. And I was like, oh, I should get that. But then I thought, no, I've already got one. If, if it had been like, you know, really great label that was lithograph, uh, I would have got it. But it was kind of a cool idea that you just fill it and then you crimp the bottom. All right, there's, did I already do a second pass? I don't even, so slick, man. Go on a little nick. That's all right. All right, we're gonna go for one more pass. Just because, just because I'm feeling frisky. Well, no, don't feel frisky, that's the wrong word. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling fine, how about that? All right, I'm, just, I'm not even gonna do it with two hands. I'm just gonna do one hand. Just put it up there, third pass. Don't really need to have that much. Skin's already pretty slick. Got a base of water. That, that strange medicine smell, interesting. Interesting. It's kind of like from back in, uh, it's from the 50s, so you know, it's not like back in the 30s where, you know, their favorite, flavors to choose from were like licorice and things like that before they had all the fake grape flavorings and orange flavorings of modern candies and drinks and scents were different flavors and fla flavorings were different back then you know you'd have whorehound candy that was your big treat <laughs> you guys ever had whorehound candy it's like a dark molasses hard candy i love it yes the name you can laugh all you want H O R E H O U N D. I'm still just so excited by this uh, vintage Barbasol shaving cream. Because I know it's, you know, it's almost impossible to find now. A couple little nicks on my neck, nothing too bad. Get under my nose here. Go kind of up against the grain. I've got my face all mapped out, you know. I know just how to get around. All right, all right, I'm gonna rinse off with cold water. Sometimes just rinsing off with cold water make your skin tighten up enough to stop any of those little nicks, you know. And then, I'm going to feel for any bits I missed that I want to get. Like over here, always, 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 always. Here, got that, got that, got that. 
All right. Okay. Rinse off one more time. <sighs> and then the aftershave. Man, I wish I could find some vintage. I hear kids screaming in the background, don't you mind? It's just summertime, the dog days of summer, everyone's going nuts. And uh, yeah, I wish I could find some vintage. I could use vintage aftershave from the 50s, but that's not Barbasol, that's Yardley's English Lavender, Sinatra's favorite. I'm just gonna use some modern brisk, because I like the smell. And I'm gonna keep it the Barbasol, Barb Barbasol, Barbasol theme. Ooh, mm. smells like a barbershop. Ah, good stuff. Ah, well, well, gonna go back in the box, put this guy back in the box, back in the drawer. I don't know when I'll use him again, but it's always nice to see when I open that thing up. This is a really good razor. It's, you know, it's been through the, the ringer a little bit, but uh, it's got some battle damage, but nothing too bad. But anyway, that was fun. And the old Barbasol blade. There we go. So that was fun. I'm glad I was in the mood. Hope you were too. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, that's all for today. Everybody have a great weekend. Uh, leave a comment if you want. I read them all, even if I can't respond to every single one of them. And I will see you all on Monday.